Do you feel like you've tried every diet, every tea, every potion, everything that you can possibly think of to fall pregnant and nothing is happening? Is your mind on overdrive searching for the perfect combination? You know, the tea that Sally drank, are you searching for that and just feel like you're getting nowhere? In today's video, I'll be talking about the five things that I did in my life to allow me to fall pregnant naturally, not once, but twice, despite the doctors telling me that was, there was a 0.1% chance of me ever falling pregnant naturally. Oh, and I was 39 at the time too. Hi, my name's Jennifer Robertson and I'm a fertility coach and writer. I'm also a fellow fertility warrior, having tried to conceive for seven years. We tried our darndest for two years to fall pregnant naturally. We did the Googling, we did the acupuncture, we did all of the diets, we did the thing that Sally did to make her fall pregnant and nothing. Finally, we went to our fertility specialist and they told us that the only way for us to ever have a baby naturally was via a surrogate. So we were lucky enough that my sister-in-law volunteered to have a baby for us. For the next two years, we struggled. Nine IVF cycles, a miscarriage, and then finally we were blessed with a beautiful baby boy. And two weeks after he was put in my arms, I fell pregnant naturally. So what did we do? Before I dive into that, please just make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Hit the little bell so that you are notified of any time a video comes up. You'll be the first to know. So what are the five things that I did, the five changes that I made in my life in order to fall pregnant naturally. Number one, I cut back on stress. Yes, we are all told that stress affects your fertility. I was a stress head. I have always been your typical type A personality. I had the high power jobs, the to-do lists, all of those things. I was striving so hard for the whole time that I was trying to fall pregnant. I was a stress head. And after three weeks of being on maternity leave, I'd created space in my life. I'd taken a step back. There was zero stress in it now. And I fell pregnant naturally. Number two, I was focused on abundance instead of lack. So for five whole years, I spent those years focused on everything that I didn't have. I wanted a baby, I didn't have it. She had a baby over there and I didn't have one. I was so focused on exactly what I didn't have instead of what I did have that I created more of it. What you focus on grows. So the fact that I was focused on not having a baby provided more of that. Number three, I was completely consumed by love. For five years, I had been so angry at the world. I'd been so frustrated. I had this huge chip on my shoulder. But now, for once, I wasn't consumed by frustration. I was consumed by love. I'd created this sweet little love bubble around me, and that's exactly what it created. It created the results. Number four, we started having sex for fun. I know, right? Bizarre concept. But as you know, on your fertility journey, this can strip all of the goodness, all of the fun out of sex. All of a sudden, it becomes this ritual, this race, this, you know, I became like a Nazi. There is a scene in Sex in the City where Miranda in the throes of having sex with Steve, if you're a fan, I'm a big fan, but in the throes of having sex, she just yells out, just get it over with. And that's how it was for us for five years. But after our baby came along, it was all stripped back. We started having sex for fun and it was great and we had a lot of it. And who knows, it happened. And finally, number five, 
I removed the self-limiting beliefs that I had all around motherhood. In our subconscious, we hold on to so much stuff. And in the back of my mind, from childhood really, from, from the way that I was raised and what I saw and the struggles that I saw in terms of raising children, my beliefs were all around, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to be a mum. You can really screw up your children. It is completely stressful to have children. I had all of these self-limiting beliefs in the back of my mind, but the biggest one was, you're not going to be a good mum. And then all of a sudden, that all changed. It all was blown out of the water and the truth became apparent. What was apparent was, well, I was a damn good mum. And it wasn't that hard. The first few weeks of motherhood were a breeze. And so all of those self-limiting beliefs absolutely got blown out of the water and they didn't exist anymore. Now, before you say, well, that's great for you, Jen, but you had a baby in your arms, but we don't. What do we do? You can create all of these things in your body, in your mind right now. You can start right now. Today, I'm a fertility coach and I work with my clients to affect their mindset in terms of the mind-body connection. And all of that has the ability to change everything for you. Not only that, it can get you from feeling down and like shit and feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, angry, all of these things that you don't wanna be, and it can get you to the other side, feeling lighter, and with hope and love for once. We focus on ways that you can change your mindset, decrease your stress levels, change your thought patterns which drive your emotions. And these techniques not only allow you to fall pregnant, but they allow you to live in a really good space regardless of the shit that you are sitting in right now in terms of your fertility journey. And these are the skills that you will use not only now, but you'll use them in motherhood and far beyond that as well. If you'd like to know more about my private coaching practice, then pop on over to my website at www.yourfertilityhaven.com. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, which provides you with all sorts of wisdom, tips, and inspiration to get you through this period and get you to your baby quicker. So thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget before you leave to get this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell as well so that you're notified of any other videos that come up as they appear. So thank you so much for joining me and don't forget you are more than your fertility journey.